Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to bat number seven on the card. We are live at Rebellion Muay Thai 16. This fight is brought to you by AustralianVitamins.com. Five by three minute rounds, full titles in the middleweight division. Your referee in charge is the Bryce Burt Whistle. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Andy Pano at a PTJ Muay Thai with an official weight of 75.8 kilograms. A fight record of 25 fights. 16 wins with 9 losses, 4 fights coming by way of knockout, fighting out of Gladesville, New South Wales, ladies and gentlemen, Sebastian Holmes! <laughs> and across the ring, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Andy Colgrave out of the ring gym, an official weight of 75.65 kilograms, a fight record, 19 fights, 14 wins, 5 losses, Five wins coming by way of knockout, representing Braybrook. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Callan Rockstar Potter. He's an accomplished grappler, but he's got some good hands on him and some good elbows. A step up for him here, even though he's comfortable in centre cage or, or fighting, you know, yep. fighting in the ring. This is his first full tie rules fight, trained by uh, Andy Hollywood. <laughs> Uh, mad title, more tokens, drugs. So what can we expect from Sebastian there tonight, Dane? Mate, I've never seen Sebastian Holmes fight, so I'm actually a fanboy here, but I, I do know he comes from a good gym. Um, and you see Sinkayak in his corner again. Um, and I've, I've never heard of the rock star either, so I'm, I'm in the dark here, but um, I'm always going to go the way of the Thai boxer, so I'm going for the blue corner. Well, we've got one for the red, one for the blue. I'm going to sit on the fence and split the difference. As you said, Bushy, Callan has come out, and man, he looks tough, and he is throwing some big leather, throwing big hands. Yeah, mate, he's, look, he's used to fighting in the MMA gloves. He's, he's had some big knockout wins in MMA with his hands, so right. take nothing away from him. As I said, Sebastian certainly got the Muay Thai experience, and this is Callan's first full Thai rules fight. He's not frightened to use the elbows because he's obviously done it. In the, in the grappling as well. He's a BJJ brown belt, I think, by memory, but... Yeah, he doesn't look out of place, that's for sure. No, not at all, not at all. I'm liking what I'm seeing from, from the MMA fighter, and he, he is landing with some good punches. He's, he's, um, he's doing very well there. He's, he's locking around the waist of the more experienced Thai clinch uh, from Sebastian, but... He's looking the goods. So I think, I think he might be on the money here, Bushy. And you know, look, he, he's training with a great Muay Thai gym. The boys out of Ring Gym, Andy Colgrave and Brett Franklin. Big crossing elbow there by Sebastian Holmes as well. But no. he, he's training with some good people down there. So he's, you know, he's got the experience behind him. Just going into that clinch there, Bushy. Callan was uh, holding on to Sebastian's leg and was copping punches to the face. He wasn't even blinking. He just he just kept moving forward. So I think Sebastian certainly got his work cut out for him tonight. But look, coming out of the PTJ gym, you know that Sebastian's going to be completely focused, composed, trained up, ready. And of course, he'll be fit as a fiddle. Yeah, mate, Callum's not going to worry about getting hit in the head with a 10-ounce glove. He's used to fighting in the, in the four-ounce glove. So big right hand there from Sebastian. Yeah, and Sebastian Sherlock Holmes looking for the uh, the elbow just gave him that name. They're all cool with that. <laughs> yeah, Mate, it's, it's going to stick now. If Daddy Cool calls you Sherlock Holmes, that's it. <laughs> he's, uh, he's looking for that elbow. I think that's where he needs to stay. Get in the clinch, look for the elbow. He, he won't be used to that. Standing up. Nice um, right hand shots there from Sebastian. Oh, and Sebastian's really doing well in the clinch there locking down Callan's arms and putting all the weight onto him so he has to carry his weight. Crushing right elbow, doesn't quite connect. Bit of a welt appearing under the left eye of Sebastian as well. Oh, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> judo throw there. Yeah, and Bryce is telling him he's not allowed to do that. That was a classic hip throw. 
Great, uh, great well, show of technique, but unfortunately the wrong fight style. Well, the thing is, you get three warnings, you might as well use them. <laughs> so round two, again, big thanks once again to AustralianVitamins.com. Here we go, sign of respect, and again, same start as round one. Callan just coming straight into the middle of the ring and just throwing that leather into the clinch. And down goes Sebastian. Yeah, he's doing really well with that, uh, with the negating the clinch work from the Thai boxer. He's, he's grabbing around the waist, and looking to take him down. Both boys start trading punches. But Sebastian's no slouch. I mean, he's throwing the leather right back there, Dane. Big body kick there. Overhand right there from, from the rock star. And a trade of body kicks there. It's good good skill shown by the MMA fighter. Big overhand right there from Potter. This is better from uh, Sebastian Home. Yeah, he's, he's got to get, he's got to use all the skills he's got in his bags, push those gloves in the face and, and look for the knee. Nice body shot there from Sebastian. And like you said, Dave, he's really found his rhythm now. Yeah, MMA, there's a big elbow, just a little bit off the mark, but MMA fighters, they'll, they'll come forward. Um, you've got to, it makes, a, makes light work for you if you can be a good counter fighter, so that's where Sebastian's got to be. Nice body kick there. And the left eye of uh, Sebastian is looking like it got a little bit of a mouse happening. Great right hand, left knee combo there by Sherlock Holmes. But Kellen didn't flinch. <laughs> Dane, he just walked straight through it. Uh, he's a tough customer. Step through elbow there, two step through elbows there. Kellen just with a bit of a smirk on his face. And he's tacking away at that leg too, so you know, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And Sebastian will have to he'll start blocking. We're using his push kick to keep him at bay as he sends a nice left body kick. Well, looping left there from the rock star, Callum Potter. But he's done a great job blocking with his head as well so far in this second round. He's worn a, he's worn a few from Sebastian, but it, it's not phasing him at all. No, just as you said, that he, he wore a big um, elbow. But it, look at him just charging forward like a bull. I'd like to see Sebastian just up the middle like we saw Kidding earlier with the uppercut elbow. And Sebastian's thrown a couple of uppercuts and they've, man, they've landed right on the money. Nice reverse elbow there from the from Sherlock Holmes. Sebastian must be thinking I've thrown everything at this kid and it's just, it's rocking his head back but Callum Potter has not taken a backwards step. That just shows the experience and the training from the PTJ gym. The work rate of Callum Potter just pushing forward has been exceptional. Dane, what do you do when you've got a fighter that just won't take a match? Here we go into round three of the five round battle. These, uh, these rounds are three minute. And again, Callum into the middle of the ring trying to dominate. Sebastian looking very focused, very calm. Big like, uppercut. Yeah, he's, he's, he's starting to really find his rhythm. He, he's, he's letting him come to him and trying to pick him off on his way in. We see a nice inside leg kick and left body kick, but um, he, he can't get too complacent. He's got to keep those hands up uh, because we know that the MMA fighter, as he throws a nice knee there out of range, um, has got those knockout punches. Gets a catch and sweep. Yeah, good work there from Callum Potter. I'll tell you what, some of his highlight reels from some of his MMA fights and some of his knockouts are just absolutely unbelievable. So he's got some, some lead in his hands. He gets in close. Both fighters can take this fight. Oh, nice little sneaky left hand there from Sebastian. Yeah, he's kept, he's, he caught him earlier with that in this round, and um, but he, he needs to follow it up with a kick or something just to just to keep uh, Potter at bay. Nice push kick. There's that push kick I was talking about earlier on the leg just to upset his flow a bit. And Callum really is dominating the middle of the ring. He really is setting 
the agenda as far as where the fight is taking place. Not always winning in every exchange, but certainly dominating as far as controlling the ring, cutting Sebastian off as he tries to exit. There we go again, push kick on the leg, just upsetting his flows. We see then that body kick. This is really smart fighting from Sebastian. Beautiful elbow there. The Claret starting to flow from the nose of, of Callum Potter. Callum dumps Sebastian down onto the deck again. That's going to be scoring against him. I'll tell you what, he's done well, Callum. He said this is his first full tie rules fight. You see so many fighters, Dane, when they step out of their normal fighting zone, fall back into it. You know, you, you see the, the tie fighters stepping down to K1, and then all of a sudden, you know, that. You might see a sneaky elbow come through. Apart from the hip throw in the first round, Callan's done a really good job in not slipping into into some of the MMA uh, holes. Yeah, and, and if you didn't know that he had that pedigree, you wouldn't even know, would you? Exactly right. He, he's doing a really good job. Um, he must be one of these guys that just loves to fight and he'll take any opportunity presented. Um, he's got a, an MMA fighter. He's got the opportunity to fight on the biggest top boxing show in the country. And... Um, you know, Sai does his homework, so he he, he would have known that he that he's not um, he's not a sloppy fighter, and he's not going to bring that MMA style. And there you go. It, it, it just shows. He goes to his corner. He's smiling. He's a little bit frustrated. Got a bit four. I beg your pardon. There you go, folks. I was too excited. Sebastian uh, starting strong with those kicks, scoring well. Just, just timing them too, just just as he's punching. Kellen certainly seems to have slowed down a little bit. Yeah, he might be a little bit confused with the with the style, um, but um, once again, he, he hasn't looked out of place, and especially in the especially in the clinch, clinch yeah. Yeah, he's, he's done well and he, he gets him down again. So he's been dominating the takedowns. And look, if it's a sort of a 50-50 on the stand-up and everything, he's getting those takedowns. That may end up being the deciding factor. He's got two rounds to go, and he's still got two hip throws <laughs> left. In left, his left hip throws. So let's let's see if he lets them go. Oh, nice elbow there from Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, and, and look. Yeah, Bryce just the was just warning for the elbow to the back of the head. But He's got two more. <laughs> nice right kick there by Sebastian Holmes. Push kick again. And oh, beautiful elbow there from Sebastian. And I've, again. I think Kellen's happy to keep it at range because he's not really comfortable in the grapple, in the traditional Thai style grap grapple. No, but um, he has got a head like a granite bench. Oh. Big elbow there from Sebastian, spinning right, reverse uh, fist. Uh, he, he's walked into absolutely everything Sebastian's thrown at him. And Sebastian must be thinking, what do I have to do to, exactly. to, to wobble this guy? He's, he's just not wobbled at all. Yeah, I think by this stage, he's um, he knows that, you know, knockout might not happen. Um, so he's just he's just tacking away and he's, he's really going for those elbows now. I think he's open to cut out the hairline somewhere but you're right Dane Sebastian is very focused and he is very strategic he is getting those shots they are landing they're scoring and they're starting to take a little bit of a toll on Callan yeah, and a big hematoma starting to appear on the right top of the just above the eyebrow on the right hand side for Sebastian Holmes as well actions right in front of the commentary box both fighters so strong in the clinch beautiful yeah, right yeah. elbow there yeah. from Sebastian Holmes and I'll tell you what Kellen nearly hit the deck on that. Yeah, he's, Kellen, a little bit, he's a little bit groggy as the referee just uh, applies the eight count. And we can see <laughs> here that Kellen, he's, he's not happy about it, but his eyes started a little bit googly. Yeah, he just looked to his corner and said, I'm all good. Yeah, Andrew, Andrew Parnham just calling out to Sebastian 10 seconds ago in this round to wind up the elbows and let them go. A lot of claret flowing from the head now of Kellen Potter, but also Bam. too. A big hematoma on, on the forehead on the right hand side of Sebastian Holmes. He's kicking back, watching the fight. There is a huge little whelp. Bushy, you were right there on the right hand side. No, it, is, it, is a, it is a whopper. I'm actually 
surprised the doctor didn't get over and have a look at it. And even Bryce Burt was for the referee calling over, so. Get Dr. Bushy in there. There, there. There's that elbow. Again from the Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, both of the corners were calling for the elbows in between rounds. Yeah, both boys, uh, they don't want to leave this up to the judges. As we see Sebastian Holmes just get taken down there, but he, he's back on that push kick on the leg and, and, and whipping that left body kick in. As we see again there, back to the push kick. Very, very smart fighting from Sherlock Holmes. I'm so impressed by how tough Sebastian, how focused Sebastian's been through this fight. Callan came out from round one and has just poured on the pressure, poured on the power. He's a strong, physical man with really good technique and Sebastian's just clear, sharp, taking those shots one by one and just wearing Callan down. Very impressive fight. Nice straight right there from Cal uh, Sebastian. And we start to see uh, Potter just, just getting back into that MMA style where he's, he's a bit front heavy on the front foot and, you know, he's got nothing to lose here. Well, he's down, obviously, on the cards as well, particularly with that eight count as well. But I tell you what, he can hold his head high stepping up on such a great show against such an experienced opponent for his first full tie rules fight. Yeah, he's definitely got a fan out of me. Um, taking the switch and taking some big shots. And it's great to see. And, yeah, you, you really sit it there, Bushy. I mean, you look at Sebastian, 25 fights for 16 wins with four knockouts. I mean, Callan doesn't have that same experience even in MMA, so it really is a big step up for him to come into this. As you said, top flight show, top flight fighter coming from a top flight gym. Hats off to him. I've got to say, when I saw Cy si announce it on the on good old Facebook, I, if I could hit like a few more times when I saw the <laughs> Rockstar was going in, I would have. Yeah, I think I think we've um, we've given we've given the Rockstar a bit of a rap with his with his toughness, but you know Sherlock Holmes has taken yeah. some big shots as well. He's, He's a bit battered looking around his, around his head and, and, and in the body. Yeah. So, you know, he, he's done a very good job here. A very tough boy too. The atmosphere is absolutely electric here at St. Kilda Town Hall. Crowd screaming out. And it's a final 30 seconds oh, of a five round battle. There from Holmes. Sebastian delivering a massive elbow there. Oh, big Superman punch from Kellen. And now both fighters are starting to pour on that pressure. Beautiful There's judo that throw. Hip <laughs> There's that judo hip throw, and, and Sebastian just shook his head. He looked, he looked at the commentary. He's like, "What's going on?" He's got one more. He's, he's used it. Yeah, I'm right. One more the referee. He needs business. <laughs> on your bros. <laughs> Callum's gonna go. Yeah, whatever. Ten seconds to go in the fifth and final round. And Sebastian just wants to throw that elbow. He wants to get in tight. Final seconds, who's going to take it away? <laughs> oh, what a cracking fight this one's been. Two complete contrasts, Callan stepping up for the first time. Sebastian Holmes will take the win, but... What, what? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. Your winner, blue corner, Sebastian Holmes. And there you have it. Although Callum Potter just kept coming forward, big strong man throwing big strong shots and landing. I tell you what, every time he came forward, Sebastian made him pay for it. And that really was just that little bit of extra experience in the Muay Thai field took it away for Sebastian.